What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step-by-step -step on how to sketch a wolf. Now the secret to creating better illustrations is to start with the basic shapes and guidelines. So let's start on the right side of our page and sketch a vertical line. We'll start at the very top of our page. It's gonna lightly bring this all the way down towards the bottom. Now along the center, we're gonna draw another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side going out and then extend that out towards the right side. Now we're gonna use these two lines to create a circle in the center of our page. So from the middle, step up toward the top. Let's mark off the top of our circle. Now you wanna take that same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's repeat that same process across this horizontal line. So taking this distance over towards the left and then the right side. Now I want to connect the center point with a curve to create our circle. Now we're going to do this pretty rough. We don't have to make a perfect circle. We can always go back and readjust the shape of our circle. Now we're going to be drawing the profile of our wall. So let's start with some more guidelines. From the center, we step up, sketch a line going all the way across toward the left and right side. Let's go to the very bottom of our circle in the center. It's gonna open up the jaw. We're gonna come down and then out. Now this line along the top is gonna to be the top edge of our muzzle. So from the front of the head, we're gonna go all the way out to right about here, draw a straight angle line, coming down towards that bottom line. Now we're gonna to start to mold the shape of the head. From the very top of our circle, we wanna step down Go all the way over towards the left. It's going to flatten off the head, going all the way across the top of the neck towards the back. Along the front, we're going to add the nose. So starting from this point, angle this up and in towards the top of the muzzle. Now the eye is also going to sit along this line. So from the front of our circle, step back to right about here. Curve the eye going up and then down. Go back towards the left side, curve this down and then up. Just tucking that up underneath. From the right corner of the eye, draw a straight angle line coming across the center of our circle and then down. Let's add a triangle for the ear. We're going to start in this area right up here. Start with a straight line going out past the side of our circle. Then this down and then in. Close off the bottom with a straight angled line. Now let's open up the mouth. From the bottom of the nose, let's step down. Just going to angle this down and then in toward the side of our circle. Let's go all the way down towards the bottom, curve the mouth, coming down and then out. Now you want to see the back side of the mouth in between the top and bottom. I'm going to come down with a straight angled line. Let's draw the front of the neck, starting down here, and goes down and then back. Now that I have the rough basic shape of the head, we're going to go back and lightly raise some of these guidelines. So we're going to take out the top of our circle, take out those lines in between. Now that we have our clean rough sketch, we can use these as guides to help us create a little bit more shape and detail. I'm going to start with the eye. I'm going to start from the inside edge. I'm going to pull up the brow. I'm not going to go too dark. I want to still leave an opportunity to make some corrections if we need to. I'm just going to work our way up towards the corner of the eye, come down across the bottom. I'm going to tuck the iris and pupil underneath. So I'm drawing a half oval and a small circle in the center. I'm going to add some shape to the front of the head. I'm going to curve this up and in and go up towards the top. Let's draw the back side of the brow, just tucking that in behind. It's going to slope the head going up. It's going to round this out. It's going to curve the top of the muzzle, round out the tip of the nose. So taking out that sharp point, just adding a few folds. and then the nostril. I'm going to add more shape to the top edge of the mouth. I'll slope this down towards the bottom. Round up the chin. And it's going to block out the teeth along the top. So 
adding that gum line first, then just adding a couple points, and then a large fang on the inside. I'm just going to add the tongue along the front. and add the fangs along the bottom. I'm going to move back and add some more shape to the ear. I'm going to go back and continue to clean up our drawing. And now we're going to go in and start darkening up our contrast and adding some more detail as we go. So I'm going to start back at the eye. I'm going to darken up the eyelids. Darken up the pupil. I'm just going to shade in the iris along the top and then fade that down to create a bit of a highlight and adding some shading inside the eye. Now from the eye, we're just gonna work our way out by adding some fur. I'm just gonna come down on the bottom of the eye, just pulling this back. And I'm just gonna keep this rough. I don't wanna get too detailed. We can come back and add some more detail after. Also working up above the eye, just brushing this over. And then just working our way across towards the muzzle. Now along the top of the head, I'm just going to pull this fur going up and over. And also move to the side edge of our pencil, just to add a little bit of volume to that shading. To the fur going across and just layering this in towards the back. folds across the top of the muzzle. Just gonna add a little bit of shading coming in. And just working our way around the nose. And we'll darken up the bottom of the nose and then fade that up. I'm just going to continue to add some more fur across the front edge of the mouth. Just working our way down and pulling the fur going up and across. I'm just going to add that gum line across the front edge of the mouth. I'm just going to darken that up. Go darker along the base where the shadow is and just fade that up towards that highlight along the front. A little bit of texture of fur going across the edge of the mouth.
darken up the back side of the tongue, and then fade that out towards the front. And continue to add some light texturing of fur across the face. Just pulling this down from the muzzle, going across the cheeks. I'm just going to add a dark line of fur across the head. So I'm using the side edge of our pencil, I'm just going to work our way across and down. And then go up towards the ear. I'm just going to add a light shade along the inside, along the top. Let's shade in the inside of the ear, roughly. And we're gonna go back and add that fur texture with the tip of our pencil. Just going across. Just working that fur behind the ear. And we're just going to brush this back towards the back side of the neck. I'm just going to darken up that fur across this seam that we created, just using that line as a guide. I'm just pulling the fur going up and in. So we create a little bit of a shadow along the bottom. Now we're just working with this curve to create more fur coming around. Just curling it along the bottom. And we'll just fill the inside with more texture. Adding a few darker areas to create some shadows. And I'm just gonna fade the detail as we come down. So not going too detailed around the bottom of the neck. I'm going to try to bring the emphasis back in the face area. I'm just going to soften up that fur across the top of the head. And as you get past the ear, we're just going to curl the fur going up. I'm just going to soften up that fur along the inside of the face. Now in our final stage, we're going to go back and just add some fine details to the fur. It's going to start back at the top of the head. And just smooth out that transition.
Now as we get closer to the end of our drawing, I'll continue to add some more fur texture and always be sure to sign my artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a wolf. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Hey everyone, if you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.